Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nico here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate by parts, but not the traditional way, not using the formula. The best way and the fastest way is my way. Tic-tac-toe. Here we go. So, first, we're going to see our integral, and we have to integrate by parts. x times e to the x dx. You could try u sub, and it's not going to work. So, here we go. We're going to dissect it in half. Now, we're going to pick the term that's easiest to derive and the term that's easiest to integrate. So, in this situation... We're actually going to pick the term that goes to zero because derivative and integral of e to the x is just e to the x. So let's get started. We're going to write it like this. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of 1 is 0. Now we're going to integrate e to the x. e to the x. Integration is e to the x. And integral of e to the x again is e to the x. Now, in my method, we have to start off always plus, minus, plus. And this is the reason it's called tic-tac-toe method. Ready for this? Tick, tack, toe. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So x times e to the x is x times e to the x. And it's a plus, so we're going to leave it, nothing in front. And now the next term is going to be negative because negative 1 times e to the x is minus e to the x. And then now in the end, the last row here, we're going to take the integral of 0 times e to the x dx, which is just 0, so there's no term. So that is our answer. Okay, on to the next. So it's test time and your teacher tells you you have three minutes left to do this. And most of you are gonna look at this and say, boy, if I try using the formula, it's not gonna work out. Integration by parts takes way too long. U's and DU's and DV's get too confusing. The integral, you're just about to hand in the test. But my method, simplify, right? So x squared times sine, not squared. x squared times sine x dx. We're gonna use integration by parts using my method. We're gonna take D. We're going to make it i. We're going to dissect it, and we're going to say we're going to derive. Whenever you see x squared or x to the fourth, it's usually going to be the one being taking the derivative of. So we're going to start off plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Make it just alternating, always starting with plus and alternating. We're going to start off deriving x squared. Derivative is 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2. Derivative of 2, make it simple, is 0. All right. And from here, we're going to integrate sine x. Integral of sine x is negative cosine x, right? Negative cosine x. And then the integral of negative cosine x is just negative sine x. And then the integral of negative sine x is cosine x. Now, we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. Boom, boom, boom. Last one, zero, so it's really no term at the bottom. So the arrow is just like non existent, right? Start off with this, x squared times negative cosine x, which is just going to be, first one is going to be negative, so it's going to be negative, I should probably write this smaller, here we go, negative x squared cosine x, right, and the next one, negative 2x times negative sine x is going to go to positive, plus 2x sine x, and the last one is going to be 2 times cosine x, which is going to be plus 2 cosine x, and don't forget plus c, and that is your answer. So the answer, to rewrite that, and that is your answer. Okay, one more, what do we say? Here we go. Okay, so let's say it's test time and you have 10 minutes left, right? You do not have time to think. I'm going to show you why my method works so well. I'm just gonna solve this one real fast. Here we go. And that is how you get it done. Right there, that's uh, real time right there. So I'm gonna walk you through it now. In this situation, what was deriving uh, from ln x and integrating x, 
because that's easier because integra integral of ln x is something really not fun to deal with and you take another integral it's a mess however the integral of x is pretty simple we all know that you know x plus one right at the top and then over the number you just put at the top right so here we go we take the product of those two right and then derivative of ln x is one over x and that's a minus sign and this is where you actually have to end up multiplying at the bottom you actually have to end up multiplying to get the integral so it's one half because x squared over two you can bring the one half outside one half integral of in the, in the end it just becomes x because the x at the bottom cancels out at the top becomes one half integral of x which is just one half times x squared over two which becomes one over becomes x squared over four um and that's why i wrote it over there that you're probably wondering where the four from it's because if you integrate x you get one half right and then you already had the one half from over the previous uh integral so that's why all right guys hope it helped if you did please uh let me know and thank you good luck on your exam